Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? El día de hoy les traemos una súper práctica de las 100 preguntas cívicas. Les voy a hacer 100 preguntas cívicas yo y 100 preguntas mi amigo Carlos. Nos vamos a alternar en 10 en 10. Como quien dice, vamos a repetir las preguntas, pero no en la misma secuencia para ver si tú las puedes reconocer, porque Carlos y yo tenemos diferente pronunciación. Así que si puedes contestar esta práctica de las 100 preguntas, vas a ver que estás más que listo. Ahora, si eres una persona que no tiene mucho tiempo para estudiar y le gustaría tener un mejor sistema o una organización, recuerda que puedes adquirir nuestro curso, cursosconfernando.com. En él encontrarás que hay un sistema que te va a ayudar a estudiar clase por clase, llevándote por prácticas también, para que ir lo mejor preparado para el día de tu entrevista. Muchas personas batallan que no saben por dónde comenzar a prepararse, no saben qué estudiar. Bueno, este curso te ayuda con eso. También tiene material de apoyo que puedes descargar. Hay una zona de comentarios que nosotros contestamos todas las preguntas que nos mandes, ¿verdad? Vamos a contestar siempre todas estas preguntas. Ya sabes, cursosconfernando.com. Muy bien, vamos a la práctica del día de hoy. Mucha suerte. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there's one star for each state. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Free the slaves. Name your U.S. representative. Answers will vary. When was the Constitution written? 1787. What are two Kevin and Levitt positions? Secretary of Education and Secretary of Energy. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. What is the capital of your state? Answers will vary. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for women's rights. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. How many U.S. Senators are there? One hundred. What does the president's cabinet do?
advises the president. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Any citizen can vote. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Name one state that borders Canada. New York. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Announce our independence. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? The Pacific Ocean. What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy. Who was the first president? George Washington. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Kamala Harris. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Native Americans. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Vote in a federal election. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves.
Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Name your U.S. representative. Answers will vary. What is the capital of your state? Answers will vary. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Civil War. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? 1776. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Any citizen can vote. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote, join a political party. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms?
April 15. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Name one state that borders Canada. New York. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Answers will vary. Who is the governor of your state now? Answers will vary. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. What is the freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4. The House of Representatives has how many boarding members? Four hundred and thirty-five. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. The Mississippi. Who signs bills to become laws? The President. What did Sousa B. Anthony do? Fought for women's rights. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. What does the Constitution do?
sets up the government. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. Who signs bills to become laws? The president. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? Eighteen and older. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? The Louisiana Territory. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Native Americans. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Free the slaves. What does the President's Cabinet do? Advises the President. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens?
vote in a federal election? What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of expression, freedom of speech. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? Four hundred thirty five. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of expression and freedom of speech. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. Who makes federal laws? Congress. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. When must all men register for the Selective Service? at age 18. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? because they have more people. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? the Atlantic Ocean. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. In what month do we vote for president? November. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War I. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. 
Who is the father of our country? George Washington. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Nancy Pelosi. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. Diplomat. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there is one star for each state. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We, the people. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. There were 13 original states. Name three. New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? because they have more people. What movement tried to end racial discrimination?
the civil rights movement. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? To defend the Constitution and laws of the United States. Who makes federal laws? Congress. How many amendments does the Constitution have? Twenty seven. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Defend the Constitution and laws of the United States. Who was the first president? George Washington. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil Rights Movement. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. What did the Declaration of Independence do? announced our independence. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives. Who vetoes bills? The president. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. 
What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. How many U.S. senators are there? One hundred. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? The Louisiana Territory. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Answers will vary. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. James Madison. Who vetoes bills? The president. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Provide schooling and education. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Kamala Harris. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. James Madison. In what month do we vote for president? November. What are two cabinet level positions? Secretary of Education and Secretary of Energy. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? 1776. July 4, 1776. Under our Constitution, 
Some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Provide schooling and education. When was the Constitution written? Seventeen eighty seven. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. We elect a president for how many years? Four. There were 13 original states. Name three. New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? Eighteen and older. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Nancy Pelosi. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. 
Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden. Name two national U.S. holidays. Independence Day, Thanksgiving. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life, liberty. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden. Who was the president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Who is the commander in chief of the military? The president. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. diplomat. Who is the governor of your state now? Answers will vary. When must all men register for this elective service? At age 18. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life, liberty. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War I. Who is the Commander-in-Chief of the Military? The President. Name two national U.S. holidays. Independence Day and Thanksgiving. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s.
Civil War. We elect a president for how many years? Four. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Mississippi River. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote and join a political party. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor.